Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today is Thursday, March 6th, and tonight's homework is Daily Spiral Review 14-4. We've got your hint list here, and we'll go ahead and get started. Number one has been on um, every Daily Spiral Review, uh, these types of problems this week, so I'm not going to help too much. You guys should have a pretty good idea about what you need to do, and this one is especially easy because the denominators are already the same. So that shouldn't take up too much of your time. Here, number two, you are solving for f. It says, what is the value of f? And this is no different than if they were to say, what is the value of x? Just, it's all the same operations. So again, you want to isolate the variable <clears throat> and then solve, um, solve with performing the in <clears throat> inverse operation. So this... Um, is a multiplication, um, you've got negative 40 times f, you just divide, and that should give you your answer. Um, number three, uh, this is a uh, ratio problem, a uh, percentage of 40 questions on a test. So I've given you some clues over there, and you should be able to figure that out. If not, go ahead and comment and message me, and I can help um, steer you in the right direction. Number four, it's asking which of the following, A, B, C, or D, is the same as eight hundredths. So my clue to you is to write them the other two ways and find out which one is being listed here. So um, uh, good luck with that one. Number five, very simple uh, subtraction problem. Just pay attention to where you put that decimal. It could really mess you up if you uh, don't pay attention to that. Number six, it's asking what is the radius of the circle? And if you remember from two nights ago, we had, a radi we had the uh, definition of a radius. And I believe most of you knew what that was. So you should be able to figure out what the um, radius dimensions are, what that is, what the length of the radius is. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for a number uh, in centimeters. So be sure to label so you don't get that wrong. Number seven, you're ordering these from greatest to least, and um, there may be two hiccups here. One, you may have a problem um, with common denominators, so be sure to be careful on those steps if you need to see which uh, fraction is larger. And then also, you may accidentally do least to greatest, so make sure you um, stay true to the question and do greatest to least. Number eight, you're solving for y, and you're figuring out what the relationship between x and y are by plugging x into this equation. So you'll individually plug in um, each x value into that equation and find the corresponding y. Again, this is the topic of uh, topic 14. This is what we'll be learning, and you will be plotting, think of this, you'll be plotting these points on the coordinate um, on the coordinate graph. So the, um, that should help you, or the coordinate plane, I'm sorry, coordinate plane. So uh, just a little hint on what we'll be doing next week. Number nine, it asks for you to find the pattern in the eighth figure. Um, so you'll have to work this out so you have eight figures and find out how many squares are there. And then number 10, you want to make sure that you understand what the measurements are of the um, angles inside a um, quadrilateral. And I've given you a pretty good hint over there at the daily, um, on the hint list. So if you uh, have any questions, please comment and I'll get back to you um, tonight. I've got a uh, baseball practice from 5 to 7, so it may be after that. But um, keep checking in to see if I've gotten back to you. All right, goodbye.